I think that meeting the growing global food demand um, as populations continue to increase is going to be one of the fundamental challenges of the next, you know, 50 to 100 years. And trying to understand what controls yield um, within agricultural areas is going to be, you know, just one of the components of meeting that growing need for food. Well, groundwater is often the invisible part of the hydrologic cycle. It's beneath the land surface, it's out of sight, out of mind. And when we think of it, we think of it as a resource. We think of protecting the quantity and quality of groundwater in our aquifers for human consumption. But this research shows that we have to think about groundwater as it affects agroecosystem productivity, as well as the um, support for our wetlands and other ecosystems. Agriculture is a really big part of the economy here in the Yahara watershed, and due to a long-term trend of increasing precipitation, groundwater levels are rising, particularly in the northern part of the watershed. And a lot of farmers have been observing negative impacts on agricultural production from you know, water rising at or near the surface of the ground and flooding out their crops. But we wanted to know whether there was any sort of kind of Goldilocks scenario where if the water was shallow enough, it could provide some extra water when there's not enough rainfall for the crops, but the water wasn't so shallow that it was flooding out the crops. So we're kind of looking and curious to see whether this uh, groundwater had an unintended positive impact on agricultural production. Our research took place in 2012, which was a severe drought as well as 2013, which had a really wet spring. And we found that shallow groundwater caused very substantial benefits to crops in places where it was accessible during the 2012 drought, which far outweighed the amount of losses that it caused in 2013 when we had this wet spring. What this means for agricultural producers is that this shallow groundwater is not necessarily a bad thing. And what we found was that losses in yield due to groundwater during wet years were smaller than the gains that groundwater provided during the severe drought of 2012. This research points towards uh, opportunities of much more active management of groundwater within fields, using precision agriculture, using knowledge about what the optimal water table depth is, based on soil texture, based on weather conditions, and then managing that through the year through uh, tile drains letting water out at times when you have too much, and holding it back, keeping shallow groundwater in the system during uh, periods of drought. So we think this research can improve crop yields by kind of highlighting often ignored or forgotten resource, which is the groundwater very close to the land surface. And we think this is particularly important during times where there's uh, insufficient rainfall like drought. We found that this can be a really big, big benefit to uh, agricultural production. And from a water sustainability um, perspective, this really kind of helps us meet the, uh, the more crop per drop goal of basically trying to, um, you know, maximize the amount of productivity that uh, we get within a watershed and minimize kind of the uh, losses of water. This research is important to me to think about how we can plan for the future, how we can make wise decisions about how we use our resources, how we manage our lands to um, both enhance productivity now, but also to make sure we can do that in future generations.